we're just starting out. The sun still hasn't quite come up yet. Beautiful. And as we're just calmly going out, Kerry's trying to troll for a salmon. So, good luck, Kerry. Okay, Trace, what are we up to today? How are you feeling today, Jules, after your little mishap yesterday? I'm good. You're good? I'm gonna keep myself dry today. Have a look at a little mitten. Wave with your mitten. Just call me Michael. <laughs> oh, we should have got you a white one with gold studs. <laughs> yeah, at least we can see the shit on it, because you know what's gonna happen, don't you? Yeah. The minute the action's on, she's gonna be like... Yeah, absolutely. She can probably lead her, because that's a club. Trace is just finishing up the last of the spread there. The hard body lure wasn't tad, tad too fast. Jules skipper today because of her hand. had seen something out the corner of her eye on the port side. So Jules headed straight over there to have a look. We weren't yeah. quite set up and ready. I, um, that I don't have very many points, so the other girls are going to have to um, do the fishing today. these birds working so it was time to do a troll around the bait and see if we could find anything. It proved to be a good thing. A double hook up straight off. Kerry and I took one rod each. Help herself, can she? <laughs> yeah. Mine was first in the boat. Not a real big fish, but you know, we'll chuck a tag in them, and that's tag number one for the day. dropped the hook and Tracy scooped him up so that he couldn't get away. Good work, Trace. It's 68, what, what do you want me to do? We didn't tag him. Yeah, but we should. Four is it? Four. Leave it. Are we going to tag him? Right, we're, we're tagging now. With both fish in the boat, all we had to do was give him a tag and let him go.
slimies don't count, even though he was a good size slimy. But you know what? We're not at all disappointed because we want to get a shark as well. And we know what bait we're going to use for that. That slimy sure is going to come in handy. We also know that where there's one slimy, there's usually more. So if we could catch half a dozen, that would put our bait bin looking really awesome for the afternoon's fish. We're just using a Paternoster rig made up with two circle hooks and a size 8 sinker. It's 100 metres deep, so it's really hard to feel the bite, and circles catch themselves. We're also using just some tuna off cuts from fish we caught earlier in the week. Slimies aren't a species, so they don't get any points, but they might be just the bait we need for something else. Nice Nanny. Woo! What size Nanny? Look at that. Good job. That's two nannies. Two nannies. That's like a bad a little two, bit of two nanny, two nanny. Like squid bit of um, reconnaissance. Yeah. Good nannies too, aren't they? Well they it's are. awesome catching nannies and it's awesome catching Gurnard. We actually really need to try and find something else with some points attached to it. So we've drifted around a little bit and we've come to another spot where the bottom looked quite good. So we anchored up and we found another species. And this one counts. A nice little gummy. They tend to twist themselves up when you hook them, so that's why the lines wrap right around them. It was Jules's turn next. And I reckon she got that well, other when there's a baby. gummy's twin brother or twin sister. It's about exactly the same size, you know. Like they've got to have parents somewhere, surely. I think I had too much good luck during the week. Now I've lucked out. It was We kept just getting baby gummies, so it was time to move that spot. We drifted around, found a nice lump with what looked like some great activity on it. And guess what? <laughs> yep, nannies. But you know what? You can never have too many nannies in the esky. So we thought we'd just stay and have a bit of a fish. You make it tough for a nanny, are you? Yep. The nannies, they just come to me. Couldn't you have a nanny going with them? Well, Jules and Kerry were catching nannies, and I was just catching blue-throated grasses. Oh, I'm the swallowtail queen this afternoon. Oh, I don't believe it was a cool one. I know that's cool. I had a double header swallowtail nanny. You said pretty big. Can I have a size? Barely. Last drop, girls. Nanny's everywhere down there. Well, I called it. We got to go in for another weigh-in, so we can't be late. We haven't got anything to weigh in today, but we do have some species to report. So we've got two species. We've got a gummy shark, and we've got a nana guy. And of course, Jules has to hook up on that last sort of drop, doesn't she? You know what's going to happen next. Good 
double hit him. Have you really? You caught the last thing. Are you going to another swallow with the bottom swallow? It's really hard when the fish are on the bite to leave them behind. Especially with Jules for bringing up a double header. But, you know, it's competition time. The girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. And that means pulling up and getting up. We had one fish to weigh in because that fish Kerry got feasting this morning was a good sized fish and was heavier than her last. So we've weighed in her six kilo fish and then we're off to the filleting beach. Gary Duncan, I'm just a girl, a southern blue fish tuna. Well presented girls. 7.20, that's on six kilogram line class. Our last day on the water. And we're so early that the radio's not even attended yet. Last day, Trace. Beautiful. Sun's not even up yet. Okay, Trace, we're on day seven, last day. Day eight. Oh, day eight, sorry. Day eight. <laughs> sorry. I lost today. I'm so sad that it's nearly over. I know. That's so good. Plan today, Trace? It comes a way of life down here, you know, and it's like you don't want it to be over. It'd be awesome if we lived here. We'd fish every single day, I reckon. <laughs> so today we just got to go like crazy and catch the tag as many general people as we can to maybe give a possible chance at a tagging prize. But otherwise, um, probably not going to make a mix. It didn't take us long to get set up, and yeah, she was a bit rocky rolly out there, but the plan was a three kilo, or a couple. The only line class that Kerry hadn't weighed a tuna in was three kilos. So we set it up in that back corner and just waited for it to go. We just have to keep reminding Kerry that she has to be gentle because she's a bit like a bull in the gate. But she'll manage this if she just has some patience. The weather conditions are not going to help her. It's pretty narky. Our job right now is to clear the decks, give her some space, and then see what happens next. Hopefully, this fish behaves itself. Otherwise, we're in for the long haul. This fish was awesome. It was like taking a puppy for a walk. It came straight to the boat. She didn't even have 15 minutes on it. Here it was absolutely stoked. It wasn't too bad bringing this one in. I think it was still with the school and I think the school was still under the boat. But awesome work, good on you, Kerry. And of course, like all firsts, we gotta have a picture. Next up on three was Trace, but hers was not gonna play the game nicely. on 
your spool, I can see. So you've done awesome. Tracy's fish had come to the surface and because she was only on three kilo line, we decided we would back up and give her a hand. She'd been on this fish for about an hour and was probably just as tired as the tuna was. So we're backing up on him. Just try and keep a bit of tension on it, Trace, as well. And again, we've got to take that photo, Tracy's first three kilo fish, and she was stoked. This fish was not going to change any statistics for the boat, so we put a tag in it and let it go. What you got there, Kerry? All week we thought Tracy's brutes had a hole in them. Yeah. But today I had to go in deeper on that side. I'm a little bit wet. Oh no. Oh, did you hear that? It sounds like when you get gum being stuck in a bit of cow shit. Oh man. All good things end with prizes. And unfortunately, we didn't get any. But did we leave this comp unnoticed? I can bet your burly bucket full of prawns that we didn't. There's a bit of a miss up this way. Did you get a treble in your hand? Not a treble. Not a treble. Just a hook? Oh, I did say that, yes. Big And how did you manage that? Uh, well, we were actually, we had, had a few lures left, so I wanted to save the lure because we caught a bird. <laughs> no, I was trying to actually release the bird. <laughs> Safely. Ah, uh, releasing a bird, okay. Well, um, was it the ambulance ride, was it fun? The, the ambulance? The ambulance ride, yeah. Not really. Why do you know them? <laughs> <laughs> what did you hear? No, nothing. I just know that, um, well, by the look of the band, I don't think I really needed an M. Right, now, where's Anthony and the crew? We just love that Port Mac comp, and yes, we'll be there again this May. Just a girl, out.